Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. It's time for my favourite part of the week, Backpage Blues Part 2, where we answer your questions. Now, if you're a little bit confused, despite having done this for about a year and a half, 18 months, two years, something like that, um, he, 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 can't, he can't do the intro. Okay. So, so I'm doing it. I'm lucky enough to be joined by up. Rory from the Chelsea <laughs> Fans Channel. <laughs> yeah, um, and this is Charlie from the Mail Online. I'm very days. sorry, I, I got a fit of giggling and I couldn't, I couldn't talk. Um, but yeah. I'm firmly over that now, so I'm going to make a start. And I'll ask you a uh, question. No, I'm, I'm going to ask the first one. Sorry. No, can't, yeah. uh, right, Charlie M, first question. He wants to know, um, who's the best player this season besides William? It's a very good question, Charlie M. Uh, I think there are, it's very difficult to come up with one. I think there are certain contenders. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, players like Fabregas, Diego Costa have been exceptional since the yeah. turn of the year. Yep. Yeah, I'd agree with but that. But if you're asking for over the course of the season, I suppose it has to be somebody who's gone kind of under the radar because Costa was very poor early on, so it's Fabregas. Yeah, um, yeah, completely agree. Terry? Yeah. John Terry? I, I think Cesar Aspilicueta? Yeah, I think you're looking at those John Obi sort, Mikel? sort of players. Yeah, I mean, Mikel barely had a look in. Yeah, that wasn't his fault. He wasn't no, playing. No, 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 he's no, only no, 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 that's right, that's right. I, I, think, I think you're looking in that area, aren't you? Yes. Um, oh God, I don't know. Actually, guys, can you do us a favour? Can you comment below and let us know? Who do you, that's a really good question. Uh, can you comment below and let us know who's been Chelsea's best player of this season, aside from William? I mean, it also should be said, William hasn't been that good in the past couple of months. I, I don't necessarily think that's true. I think he set the bar so high early yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, that's fair that enough. He, uh, that's fair he, enough. He's very hard to maintain that. I but you're right, he hasn't been as electric yeah. as he was I, earlier in the season. I think Fabregas has been our best player recently. Anyway. Yes, I would agree. Hmm. Uh, moving on to a question from Harry. Uh, Harry, sorry, Harry, I'm reading your act, um, and I nearly said it, but thankfully I didn't. Uh, it's it? up now, you'll be able to see. Oh. Yeah, so we'll call you Harry. Come on, Harry. Uh, Harry. Harry wants to know, where do you think Chelsea will finish next season? Uh, see, I mean, it, d it depends on so many things. It depends on whether Conte is, you know, fully expecting to take over, whether he hits ground running, what sort of, what sort of transfers they make in the summer. Also, of course, it massively depends on the other clubs. Yeah. I mean... Guardiola at City is just going to be fascinating to watch. I mean, pretty sure Mourinho is going to go to Man United. It will um, be interesting if City don't make the Champions League. It will be interesting, but in, in a way, I think it'll help them even more concentrate on, on the league. Premier League, right. I mean, it, it would be the sort of <laughs> ultimate irony if they've sort of gone massive with Guardiola and then they come and they're yeah. playing Bate Borisov in yeah, June or whatever. It could well happen. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I, I mean... Personally, I think there's going to be so much momentum, especially at City, pr you know, certainly United as well. Um, that I, I, if someone told me now that Chelsea were not going to finish in the top four next season, I'd be surprised and very disappointed. So I'm going to say top four. Top four, yeah. I th I'm going to go one further. I think we'll be top two. I okay. think the Conte's record is so good. I think he took yeah, Juventus, Juventus finished seventh twice yep. and he came in and they won the league. They did a hat-trick of winning the league. Yeah. So I think that he has got it in him to turn an, a team, a mediocre team, into mm -hmm. champions or ne nearly champions. Yeah. So I'm going to go there. I really think that this is just going to be a blip and normal service will be resumed next year. I, lo I love your optimism. Yeah. Uh, next question is from Connor. Uh, speaking of Conte, one of the players he had in that Juventus team was Paul Pogba. Obviously, we've spoken about him you know, a hell of a lot on, on this show. He wants to know if you think Pogba's a realistic target Bearing in mind, where Chelsea probably won't even be in the Europa League next year. Look, I, I do think that it's possible. I can see a world in which it happens. I don't think it's. I don't think it's the most outlandish of things to suggest that Paul Pogba will play at Stamford Bridge next season. Mm. I do honestly think it can happen. He has a relationship with Conte. London is a massive draw. Mm. Uh, he has a very good friendship with Kurt Zuma. There's lots of reasons why it could happen. I think he might be playing at Stamford Bridge, but in a Manchester City shirt. Yeah, I think on the, <laughs> on the flip, absolutely. On the flip side of that yeah. same coin. He's the most coveted midfielder in Europe. He can play Definitely. anywhere. Any club would be delighted to welcome him yeah. into their arms. Yeah. So I don't think that it's out of question. I think it could happen. I don't think we're the front runner. No, I, I, I massively agree with that. I'd, I'd consider it hugely unlikely <coughs> purely because... I, th I think if Chelsea were, were in the Champions League, I think we'd almost be favourites just with the Conte connection mm -hmm. and, and the, the inroads that the club has made before in, into... Simon yeah. Paul Pogba because we've got a good relationship with Juve as well. But yeah, we have, and we we were close last summer, and we've been close for a mm. while. But it's it's just never kind of got there. We never never really stumped up the readies, basically. Right. But uh, from day. what f from what we're hearing, Pogba's preference is actually go to go to Spain. And yeah. if it and if it is the Premier League, 
I, you know, Guardiola being a city and all the money and, the ch and potentially the Champions League, I, I think you're going to be looking at that. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, right, this question from James Reese lock James uh, wants to know, quite simply, who will leave Chelsea this summer? Right, well, I mean, I, I've i been saying for a while that I, I, I don't think Hazard will be at Chelsea. Um, I, I think that's about 50-50. I, I, think, I think if he could choose, I think he'd be at Real Madrid. I think if Chelsea could choose, they'd probably, probably get rid of him for uh, Real Madrid for an exorbitant fee. Mm. I think Chelsea's issue would be now that with them not being in the Champions League, they're not going to replace someone like Hazard with any anywhere close to his actual quality, mm. no matter how appalling he's been this mm. season, which he has. So I, I think they'd be sort of willing to let Conte have a real run with him and, and, and see how see that develops. Get him back to his old self. S certainly, well, what I've said for weeks, and this definitely won't change, is that there will be interest and probably bids for Courtois, Hazard, Costa, certainly. The, those are Chelsea's most valuable assets. Oscar, I can see Oscar, Oscar I, I, In fact, I, I definitely expect Oscar to leave. There'll certainly be bids for him as well. You, you're right for that. But I'm talking in terms of Chelsea's most valuable assets. Mm. It's probably those three. Those are elite Champions League level players. Do you know what? To take, they're not, they're to take not, they're not going to be there. one step further. Can you see a world in which we'll have a clear out? Like, can you see eight players leaving? No, I can't. I, I, I can't. I think it'll be three or four. Purely because I don't think the, I don't think Chelsea have the wriggle room to um, to replace them adequately. Right. Um, so I think it's going to be three or four. They're, they're going to need to gen basically. They're going to need to sell to buy. Right. They they want to buy. So, I, I I think Oscar is an obvious candidate to leave. Mm -hmm. I think his. I mean, I don't know what you think. Uh, my problem with Oscar is that he's man of the match one game in six or seven. Oh, and he's and he's, so he's, and he's, he's one of the most naturally gifted players at the club, but no, nowhere and near the player he should be. And, and the other five matches, he's, he's Gash. ineffectual. <laughs> Gash. Yeah, yeah, we use that word a lot on yeah. the Daily Mail. Right? <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> uh, I think he's an obvious candidate to leave. Like I said, there'll be interest for the others. I think Nemanja Matic, it's time at Chelsea, is probably done. Mm. Um, I've so got a theory about Matic. Go on. It all went wrong for him when Ashley Barnes tried to kill him. Mentally, he never yes. recovered. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think that's a, that's a fair shout. I don't think anyone quite realised what a confidence player Matic was. Mm. Everyone kind of saw him as this big guy who's kind of yeah. ruining midfields and defences all over all over the Premier League. But he, he's obviously a huge confidence player, and I think his confidence has taken a massive, massive mm. knock. He, he did not have a good relationship with Mourinho by the end. Um, and I, he's he's... He's clearly not in Chelsea's best eleven at the minute no. for me. Um, so I think his time's done. I think Oscar's time's done. And, and they'll certainly be warding off bids for Courtois, yeah. certainly Costa and, and Hazard. Right. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was it. So you can't do the intro. I can't do the questions. So what a team. What happens is you read one and then we answer it. Okay. That's how this works. Have oh. you done this before? <laughs> Are you about to do the intro? <laughs> um, right. Uh, question from uh, Selenio10. Oh, I know him. Do you? What's he like? I, we're virtual friends. We've never met in real life. Is he a catfish? I have like a, <laughs> I have a, I have a virtual friendship with him. I like He's a nice it. guy. I he like it. Talks a lot nice of sense. One. Cheers. Um, which of our youth and loan players do you think are in the mould of the current first team? That's a good question. Mm. Do you know who I can see shades of? It's a weird one. Uh, I in he's not a current first teamer, but I th in the way that Ruben Loftus Cheek plays a game, I see shades of Michael Ballack. He reminds me of Michael Ballack. His presence and his domineering uh, yeah. force. Yeah, I, I, there's something in Balak for me. I yeah, just the, see the it, way that it, he moves. Is attacking me. I mean, personally, he, he he was he was okay when he when he came on against West Ham and, and obviously won the penalty. I thought he was shocking in his last game when he came on and lost his cheek. I thought he was. He, it's I mean, it's so difficult, isn't it? It is, it is hugely difficult. I, I want to see a lot more mm. of him. I'll say that first yeah. off. But I mean, for me, he 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 needs to. He needs to be giving a lot more back and forth, yeah. a lot more movement if he's going to be the sort of player he That'll is. That will come though, and, and, and playing with the but, midfield but, but, but also what doesn't help, I, I never see why they try and bring him on behind the striker. Mm. Because for me, he's got nowhere near the trickery or technique to mm. play there. He's more, for me, he's, he's better off from deep, like you say, making those runs yeah, forward, the making, the, making, making those kind of runs back. Another, another one. Kennedy sh has a whisper of Arjun Robin in his pump about him. Oh, I like that. I, I'm a huge, huge Kennedy fan. I think he frightens the life out of people, which not enough of our players yeah. do. I mean, uh, uh, you'll probably roll your eyes at this. This is why I always like Kalou. No, I love Kalou. Be, 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 yeah. I, mean, uh, I 
My, gr- my, my granddad is one of my best friends. I was friends. in the San Siro. I was in the San yeah. Siro when Clue scored a goal. Yeah, I loved yeah, that yeah. Man. I was at Anfield when he scored a goal. Oh, I yeah. love that man. That's why we love Solomon yeah. Clue. Yeah. Uh, uh, my granddad's one of my best friends. Go, goes to Chelsea. I uh, go to Chelsea with him every week. I mean, we've almost had physical fights about Clue because he, he 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 hated him so much. The thing is with Clue, we were so he was frustrated at the time because he was our fourth choice yeah. striker. Yeah. Think of our fourth choice striker now. Like I don't even know who it is. Well, <laughs> no, no. Pato, I suppose. This this this, this was good in the week, wasn't it? Pato was in Dubai. Uh, Falcao, Falcao was skiing. Playing, yeah, Falcao yeah. skiing. I know. What's that skiing? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> playing golf. I'm playing golf tomorrow. <laughs> that um, well. Right, on that happy note, uh, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, really good questions this week. Um, if you uh, wouldn't mind, would you comment below? I think Harry asked a really good question. Where do you think Chelsea will finish next year? Comment below, let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a thumbs up? God, you blows. Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. It's time for Backpage Blues. I'm joined by Charlie the Hurricane Skillen from the Mail Online. How are you? Yeah, very well, mate. You okay? Yeah, very well.